Welcome to the Animate tutorial creating templates of your character. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make templates of the various views of your cartoon character as well as how to save them and organize them so that you can reuse them in your animation. So to begin we need to add a keyframe at the start of every view change. So right now we already have one for the front view. If I uncollapse my layers, you can see it runs all the way down because we did that in the previous tutorial. So then if I collapse the Karate Rabbit master peg again and go over to frame 9, which is the start of the three-quarter view, I simply need to click on the button here, insert keyframe, to insert a keyframe, which now appears just like the other one in all the subsequent layers collapsed beneath the master peg. We don't want to keep this as a motion keyframe with interpolation in between. So the next step is to right click on the keyframe and select the option set stop motion keyframe or to use the keyboard shortcut command L or I believe in Windows that's control L. Sometimes if it doesn't work on the keyframe that you're on it's generally the motion is coming from the keyframe before. And we're just going to do that one more time for the start of the profile view. So the next thing we're going to do is actually click and drag the entire Karate Rabbit master peg from the left side of the timeline to the library view. But first we need to create a folder in the animate library. So you need to right click on the folder and select the menu option right to modify. And as you may have noticed, the lock from the animate library folder disappeared. The next thing you need to do is right click on the animate library and select the menu option new folder. A tab appears or an arrow appears that you can click to reveal the new folder that you've created. You can click on it and right click to select rename folder and you can rename it whatever you want. I'm going to rename it Karate Rabbit. Then what I'm going to do is take the entire master peg and drag and drop it in the right side of the library. A window appears that gives me the option to rename my template and I'm going to rename it Karate Rabbit Full Front. and say OK. Then what I'm going to do is copy it by using Command or Control C and then paste it in the library view. This time I'm going to rename it Karate Rabbit Full E Quarter and say OK. And I'm going to do that one more time. This time naming it, as you probably already guessed, Karate Rabbit Full Profile. Now I'm going to go into the Karate Rabbit Full Front, right click on it, and select the option Edit Template. So the scene that just opened is our template file, the Karate Rabbit Full Front template and what we want to do to this template is edit it. So for this template because it's for the front view we don't want to see any of the other views. We only want to see the first column for the front view so all the drawings here. So to do this all we have to do is select then shift and select um, past the point where we know the profile view ends and then click on the delete button. So now if we uncollapse our master peg, we can see that there's only one column of drawings and keyframes. The next thing we should do is take this red bar and drag it across the timeline up until the first frame so that when we drag and drop this template into a scene, there won't be any extra unnecessary frames inserted into the scene. The last thing we should do is rename 
the peg in the timeline. I'm going to rename it the same name as the template, Karate Rabbit Full Front. Then we just need to save our scene and close it. So I'm going to repeat the same procedure with the other two views. But this time, obviously, I'm going to preserve the column, the first column for the three-quarter view. So to do this, I just need to click on the frame beside the first keyframe that denotes the first keyframe of the three-quarter view, and then shift and click the first frame, then hit the delete key. So once again, if you uncollapse, you'll see that all of these cells and keyframes have disappeared. And then we just do the same thing to all the cells after the keyframe denoting the first frame of the three-quarter view. And then what you have to do is click and drag that entire column all the way to the front. And if we uncollapse our peg one more time, we see that all the um, frames and cells for the first column of the three-quarter view are present. So now I just have to take the red bar and pull it across the timeline up until the first frame, and then rename my master peg to the name of the template. And then I'm going to save my scene, and then close it. So I'm going to do that one more time for the last template. So now that we have our three full templates, we can create a new scene and then test these templates and I can show you how they work. So let's go to the top and click on the new button and let's name our new scene template test and let's say save. So then if we go back into the animate library and look for the Karate Rabbit folder, we can drag and drop any of these templates from the right side of the library to either the camera view or to the left side of the timeline view. Then you can extend the exposure of your template for any number of frames. So let's go to frame 40, right click and select extend exposure. And then if we uncollapse the peg, you'll see that yes, in fact, all the exposures have been extended. And then you can go through here and use a transform tool to keyframe and animate and do drawing substitutions and all sorts of things that I'll show you in some of the following videos. So that's it for the tutorial creating templates of your character. And in fact, it's the last tutorial in the rigging series for Animate. I hope that you feel like you've learned a lot and that you had a lot of fun.